Hello, my name is Anne, and just a few days ago, Google just released an update for Google Assistant, which supports the new feature in iOS 12 called Siri Shortcuts. And today, I'm going to show you one of the coolest tricks you can do with Siri Shortcuts um, to the Google Assistant, which is to say, OK, Google, and um, have some fun with it. So, uh, you know, before, in order to provoke Google Assistant, you have to not not to go to Google Assistant and tap on the mic, uh, or go to the widget page. You know, it's very inconvenient, and so uh, that's why Google Assist uh, Google just released an update uh, to support the Siri shortcuts feature, and it's really really cool, and you will definitely like this. So the first thing you need to do is to get the latest version of the Google Assistant app. Uh, just, it, it's free and you know nothing really uh, to pay here and you need to go to the settings app and go to Siri and search so in this uh, window here you need to tap on all shortcuts you know, if the hey Google command is right here you can tap on it if you don't go to all shortcuts and tap hey Google alright hey Google command is right there and you need to give it a command uh, completely up to you. You can say what whatever command you want to for the Siri shortcuts to execute this Hey Google here, which would uh, which would re redirect you to the Google Assistant app and uh, will automatically uh, activate the mic uh, for you to speak to it. So you can uh, you, you can uh, uh, give it any command you want. Um, you can say Okay Google, Hey Google. Um, Something like that, completely up to you. I would, I would just gonna say, okay, okay, Google, just as the way Android does. So, uh, give a command. Tap on this mic here. Okay, Google. All right. So just, just like that, and you will be done. All right. So let me go ahead and demonstrate for you. Okay, Google. What's the weather like today? In Ho Chi Minh City today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecast high of 29 and a low of 24 degrees Celsius. So that's that, that that's it. That's very simple. Uh, but uh, in this video, we're just going to show you some more really cool tricks and tips and tricks with Google Assistant you can, that you can do with Siri shortcuts. Um, you know, I just did the uh, asking the Google Assistant weather, right? But, you know, instead of just go, go ahead and uh, say, OK, Google, uh, go to Siri, go, say, OK, Google, and go into the Google, Google Assistant app to, and then say, what's the weather like today? You can do all of that with Siri shortcuts as well. So let me tell you that. Go to settings. Right. So the first thing you're gonna do here is make sure that you uh, you you go to Google Assistant and you ask uh, Google the weather already, right? Because it will show you this uh, what's the weather today. It will show you all of the shortcuts uh, of the old commands that you uh, you, you know you uh, talked to Google Assistant uh, previously. Like uh, previously, I just told. Google to uh, to, uh, to give me information about the information about the weather, you know uh, you can do all of that right. But before that, you need to go ahead and ask it first, uh, so that it will appear in this Siri shortcuts menu. So tap on it, and yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can say, "Okay, Google, what's the weather like today?" Um, to avoid the uh, interference with Siri. Or you can just say what the what the weather like today, and it will instead of just asking Siri, it will ask Google Assistant in instead. You know that's that's a lot of potential you can do with it. So again, okay, Google, what's the weather like today? And that's it. So every time you go to you go to Siri, okay, Google, what's the weather like today? And you also make sure you got the Got the right word here. You want to. You don't want to go ahead and uh, change any words here. It will, it will not recognize. Anyways, it got the result. Um, yeah, it's that simple. Um, you can do. You can use Google. Okay, Google to, um, you know, uh, 
ask the time, <clears throat> something like that. Right, let's say I want to go ahead and um, set, uh, say, what's the time in New York, right? Uh, but it's not here, okay? It's not in this zero shortcuts here. You have to go ahead and go to Google Assistant and add it first, right? So you're going to go to Taiwan is Mike. What's the time in New York? The time in New York, New York, USA is 7.55 p.m. on Friday. And similarly, so once you ask that, you want to go ahead and add, assign it to Google Assistant. Um, just, you know, go ahead and, yeah, you can see that it just appeared a new, just uh, a new uh, option has appeared, right? Again, ask, okay, Google, what's the time in New York? Right, and uh, just say that phrase inside the Siri, and it will do the same thing. So that's pretty much uh, what Google Assistant, what Siri shortcuts fail with Google Assistant, and I think that it's a great replacement for Siri. You know, it 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 is it does take some times, um, and it, and uh, yeah, yes, you do have to go through Siri, but it just uh, but with Google Assistant, it's a lot better, a lot faster, a lot smarter in terms of you know how you conversate with them how it gathers information and how it can uh, retain conversation with time and I think that um, uh, Apple did a great job in allowing uh, Google Assistant uh, and also you know allowing Siri shortcuts to do much more things in the future uh, anyways that's pretty much it for this video if you like it click the like button down below uh, and if you love it uh, subscribe to this channel for uh, more content in the future and also click that uh, bell icon down below as well to get notified every time uh, you, uh, I upload a new video to YouTube. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.